So, here we are, level two of the uh, coronavirus response in New Zealand. It basically means uh, still got social distancing, but we're allowed to get out and exercise and so on. We were before, but we're allowed to be, go a little bit further afield and oh, because of where I live, uh, that actually means I'm allowed out of the valley for the first time in a couple of months, which is great. So just doing a quick run today, doing a Carapotty challenge to Clark Creek, which I think is about 17k. I've not actually done them joined together before, but yeah, just giving it a go today. Making my way up to Cannon Point now. Oh, hard going. Yeah, just to clarify, uh, I said on my Swift, uh, Swift video, but not everybody watches those. Uh, Joe's got a medical issue at the moment, so she won't be running for at least a couple of weeks. Uh, our videos are filmed a couple of weeks ahead, usually. So uh, there'll probably be a couple of Rob logs or something similar. And then uh, we'll see how, how she's going. We'll get back to filming together and stuff, but it's going to be hard because we've both been stuck in lockdown for a while. So we've lost quite a lot of our fitness and winter's coming as well. So, you know, we've done the lockdown diet and put on a couple of kilos. So we've got to get back to where we were. It's kind of tricky to get the uh, motivation at the moment because all of the races we were aiming to do have been cancelled. Uh, I imagine Tarawira next year and so on will be going ahead, but everything for the next few months has been cancelled. So, you know, there's not much motivation at the moment. And the weather's turned in New Zealand. It's starting to get cold for winter now. So yeah, it's tricky to get motivation. We might have to go on holiday somewhere slightly warmer. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit of a shame, but at least we're out of lockdown now doing a lot better than some countries so I can't really complain. Obviously not rock climbing at the moment and I don't think we're going to be rock climbing for a little while yet because the gym is obviously a pretty easy place to pick up Covid and not particularly hygienic with the handholds and stuff that can't be cleaned easily. So we probably won't be climbing for a little while. So it's going to be running in, running Zwift. Um, a couple of projects at home that are health related like putting in a veggie patch but yeah, what I've been finding more than anything is uh, the top end's gone, the VO2 max is gone. So Swift is pretty good. Short, sharp races. Um, I don't know if they make particularly interesting videos, but that's what I need. So I was doing lots of hill work before the, the lockdown for the Wu 2K race, because um, it's quite hilly. And that kind of stuff was really working on my leg strength and top end, but stopped all that for the lockdown. So lost a lot of that strength again I've put on I must have put on a good five kilos 10 pounds you know so well, I was trying to lose weight as well I managed to lose like seven or eight now I'm back five so that's the way it goes basically got to more or less start again but yeah this week and next week I'll just try and get the volume back to like three quarters of what it was and we'll go from there it's going to be hard to fill in the missing rock climbing sessions because they provided a good strength workout, so it wasn't just all cardio. Man, man, I swear to God they've made this hill bigger since I last ran here. <laughs> it's a beautiful day out here. Well, I say beautiful, it's overcast, but it's uh, it's not raining. It's not actually that cold for this time of year. Um, yeah, it's all right. I love to see new trees being planted. Uh, it's a working forest over here, so I know they understand they have to cut them down and stuff But it does make me sad when they cut down all the trees and you end up exposed to the sun Now I'm just looking at these little baby trees and uh, oh, this is gonna be a nice run when they grow up A couple of years, I guess 10 years or so before they're a decent size Provide a little bit of shade because uh, in summer it can be quite hot out on this trail um, It's almost like a mini uh, American run actually it feels a lot like uh, some of the deserts out here when it's super hot on this little section but uh yeah it'd be nice to have a bit of shade out here although it is clay so i wonder if that's going to get a little bit wetter in a few years time if they uh block the the sun we'll see so for the next week or so i'm just focusing on getting out getting out about getting some running in and do, getting back onto zwift because i only zwift for six months a year um over the winter because it's just too hot in summer to do um, so I'm just trying to get back into Zwift, mostly racing. I, I might do a little bit of structured workouts and so on, but I'll mostly just be doing cat sea racing and just enjoying the run, the races. But yeah, just get back into running a little bit and uh, probably 
end of June, we'll get back to rock climbing. Depends how COVID goes in New Zealand. To be honest, I'm kind of expecting a second mini peak. Not as bad as the last one, hopefully, but I think we'll be back at level three for a little while until that goes. I have to get some provisions in the house again. Just because of the way people are socializing and going out drinking and stuff, you know, I, mean, I get it, people have been locked up and they want to let their hair down, but you can't really do that. It's just going to cause a second peak. So, yeah, I imagine there'll be a small little second peak and then hopefully people will learn their lesson and it will go away for six months or at a time until there's a vaccine, hopefully. We'll see. But yeah, for now, at least I'm able to get out and get out and about. You really do miss running when you when you run all the time and then you're not able to. It's difficult at the time and it, sometimes running can suck in the rain and stuff, but God, you miss it when you don't get a chance to do it. Oh, there's a nice little section coming up here. No, I'll show you. It's kind of stony, but it's not too stony to hurt your ankles, which is nice. Yeah, it's a nice run this. I'm doing it uh, clockwise. I think it's about 14k when you do the Carapotti challenge unless you go down the zigzag which will make it 16 and I, I don't know what it is if you add on Clark's Creek because Clark's Creek is 11 I think but they join at the far sides of the loop so it probably only adds about 6 on so I'm guessing somewhere around sort of 17, 18k we'll see I'm taking it pretty slow today because it's my first run back and well, my first long run back yeah I just I can feel already that like on the hills I've lost a lot of leg strength gained a lot of weight just makes all the difference on the hills really struggling downhill and on the flats don't really seem to be much difference than I used to be so just those hills if I can lose a bit of weight and get some leg strength back I think I'll be good to go for races next year maybe the end of this year if there are any we'll see oh dear I guess no one's been up here for a while clearing the road that must have fallen a while ago. It looks like a healthy tree as well. It's kind of weird. Maybe the root system wasn't stable. Yeah, it's odd. What is it? Look at that. There you go. Yeah, this climb sucks. It's quite a steep one. Normally I could run up this, but I haven't got in the legs at the moment. I can run half and then I'm just completely wasted. Oh. The top of this hill turn left head over to the top of Clark's Creek and it's steep downhill wet feet uh, wet feet a couple of times actually and then I've never done the next the bit after that I've done downhill but never up I think it's relatively long of up so it could suck but we'll see oh, oh it feels good to finish that one finish that climb okay yeah so we level off now Actually go a little bit downhill now. Yeah, we're here. So we're gonna come back via the Clark's Creek and I went out this way. Yeah, did this on the way out and then back via this one. So we'll see how we go. Sorry if this video ends abruptly at some point, but I've just realized all my GoPro batteries are almost flat because I forgot to charge them up from the last run a few months back. Like an idiot, so sorry about that. Yeah, this last hill's goes on a bit but it's not too steep it's not too bad we're getting there slowly 